So here we have the Volkswagen T-Roc on a 21 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls from there. As we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with the 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles of the car. They are 5,598. Above that, uh, we have a trip computer. So we're on the kind of driving data menu at the moment. Various different bits of trip computer and car information, including the digital readout for the speedometer. Uh, you can get different menus up there as well. So assist systems, navigation, audio, telephone, vehicle status, and then back around to where we started. The buttons I was using to do that are just here. We have phone and stereo controls over that side. Stereo controls continue over on the left, along with cruise control. Once you've set cruise control in this car, hit this button. This car will maintain its own distance between itself and the car in front, both speeding up and slowing down automatically depending on the car in front's speed. Over in the center, we have the touch screen. So this is where, amongst other things, you would pair up your phone. It's where you can access your music. So when it comes to the radio, you'll see this car's got FM and DAB radio. It also has internet radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do that uh, via Bluetooth audio, which you can see just here. And the media menu will give you exactly the same options again. You can access your satellite navigation up in this top right hand corner. There's a full video showing how uh, this system works on our website and on our YouTube channel as well. Working our way down from that, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. The air conditioning is on at the minute, so off, back on again. Or hit auto, the car will now take control of the fan speed and the direction of the air to maintain the temperatures you've asked for. Any manual adjustment will override auto straight away, as you can see. Under that section, we have two USB-C inputs and some storage, and the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.